We'll come to order. The Senate Armed Services Committee meets this morning to receive testimony on global challenges in the United States uh, national security strategies to meet those threats. It's my honor to welcome our distinguished witnesses, uh, former Secretaries of State Henry Kissinger and George Schultz, and the former Deputy Secretary of State Richard Armitage. Your careers of service have been just unbelievable, been great. We're so honored, honored to have you folks here. I want to begin by reading a brief welcome from our chairman, uh, McCain, who regrets that he's unable to be here for today's hearing. And I'm quoting him now. He says, with the rising global challenges of an increasingly complex and competitive strategic environment, America needs the leadership, wisdom, and experience that only statesmen of this stature can provide. This committee and this nation thank you for your service, and we are grateful for your continued voices of reason during these troubling times. We look to you for the lessons of history as we all seek to secure a safer, freer, and more prosperous world. I guess one of the most enjoyable committee hearings that I've experienced before was three years ago uh, when we had uh, we had a hearing of the same. Both secretaries, Kissinger and, and uh, Schultz, were here. And a lot of the comments that you made were very prophetic. Here it is three years later. A lot of these things have happened, so we're looking forward to this. Speaking on behalf of the entire committee, we all look forward to having you, the chairman back uh, soon, and I'm sure he will be. Now more than ever, the challenges of today's world require strategic vision. Each of you is uniquely qualified to help with this committee think through not only our present challenges, but also the strategy needed to meet them. Uh, the insights and wisdom you offered then were discerning and have borne out in the years since. The Trump administration recently released a new national security strategy and a national defense strategy, which emphasizes the priority of near peer uh, 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 competition, the danger of rogue nations, and the enduring threat of terrorism. The National Defense Strategy is a frank and realistic view of the global strategic environment. It offers a blueprint for protecting our national interests and reestablishing America's position as the undisputed leader of the free world. And it shows a commitment to restoring our military advantage across all domains and strengthening and expanding key alliances. So we just ask um, each of you to help us think through this strategy. The members of this committee are well aware that the key and success of any strategy requires resources. We need to cast aside partisan politics and pass an appropriation bill while finding a way to fix the defense spending caps that have disseminated our military in terms of readiness and modernization. So we thank you for your service and look forward to your testimony. Senator 